I'm worth more money. So you'll get tomorrow night for us. <laughs> Very good, Mr Bailey. Well, it might sound romantic, but ask anyone who has tried to renovate a heritage-listed home and they'll tell you how hard it can be. But how about taking on the restoration of a 125-year-old 59-room hotel in one of Sydney's most protected precincts? A lot can change in a couple of centuries, but not the rocks. You're not going to be sort of run over by stampeding rats or anything like that, or, or, or convicts or whatever, but, but you get a feeling in your own mind as to how this sort of place was in the past. A heritage-listed and aggressively protected patch of living history where Bob Margaret chose to develop a shiny five-star hotel. You'd have to be pretty crazy because there are so many restrictions in today's world. The restoration took five years. His heritage consultant was brutal, banning even a single nail in the sandstone and taking nine months to approve some shades of paint. Everything has to be preserved and, and we, we had to... Uh, and, and we wanted to preserve everything, of course, because that, that's, the, that's, that's the beauty the of it, yeah. And beautiful it is. Now, the site's history isn't so pretty. It was home to a seedy brothel and to Sydney's first hospital with its naughty nurses. Often it was said that the convict women themselves you know, often got into the, uh, the medicinal alcohol a bit too much. In a place like this, the walls can talk. Each of the scratchings on the stones are, are, are quite different and, and they were they're actually the work of different convicts and, and different convicts had different signatures. Now Bob's left his mark too. Just don't ask him to do it again. <laughs> uh, if I was a lot younger. <laughs> Daniel Isdale, 10 News. And that's 10 News for now. We'll have updates throughout the evening. Now, here's the team at the project. Good night.